Former House uh, White House Press Secretary S- Stephanie Grisham. Remember her? Um, Grisham, who uh, not only was she a former press secretary for the Orange Vomit, but she was also chief of staff to Trump's whole Melania when he was in office. Anyway, she said today that more than a dozen of her former Trump administration colleagues plan to meet next week to try to stop the orange vomit as he continues to, in her words, manipulate people and divide our country, end quote. Grisham told uh, CNN's John Berman and uh, Brianna uh, Keeler in an interview on New Day uh, today. I don't know if you saw it, but this is this is what she said, quote, next week, a group of former Trump staff are going to come together. Administration officials are going to come together and we're going to talk about how we can formally do some things to try try and stop him. And also the extremism that that kind of violence rhetoric that has been talked about and continues to divide our country, end quote. I'm quoting her directly as it appears in the transcript. That's why it sounds kind of gibberish. Um, Now, she declined to reveal who will be joining her. She's one of the people who will be in that crowd of of, of fucking uh, wannabe gangsters. She wouldn't say who's going to join her in the efforts, but she said there would be about 15 of her former colleagues, including some who worked inside the White House. (laughs) Um, she said that some of the officials who are going to meet were junior to her in the, in the pecking order in, in the Trump scum bastards uh, hierarchy, and others were senior. And she said a few of the officials had what she called informal chats and then did outreach to others and then conducted some Zooms, some conference calls, her words, culminating in the partially in-person formal meeting next week. Um, Grisham said she is personally hoping, this is what she said on CNN this morning, she's personally hoping to, quote, travel the country and talk to people who are believers like I once was and explain who Trump really is, end quote. Oh, bitch, come on, what? Are are you that, Stephanie, Stephanie Grisham, I mean, are you so fucking easily malleable and influenced that you went along with Trump? Shame on you. This man is a fucking rapist. He grabs women by his genital or her genitals and laughs about it. And you went to work for him. And now you're having your epiphanous moment where all of a sudden you realize you were working for the Antichrist. What do you use for brains, Stephanie, if you have any? She called him a master manipulator. (laughs) Oh, is that your defense? You were manipulated, Stephanie? She went on to say on CNN, quote, I'm hoping that people will talk to somebody like me or some of these other people who really did believe in Trump And understand you can be proud of his policies. You can still be behind a lot of the America first policies that he implemented, which I am. But it doesn't have to be him. It just doesn't have to be the man who has caused such chaos and destruction in this country. End quote. You 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 can be proud of his policies. What policies, Stephanie? The fucker didn't have a single policy except to enrich himself and his disgusting, filthy offspring. And his latest hoe who walked around in her, uh, I don't care, do you, raincoat. Or whatever the fuck it said. I'm angry. (laughs) You can tell. Grisham also said that the former... This group of former Trump officials will discuss her words, quote, what are the most effective tactics in order to carry that message? And I'm really hoping for a good fight in 2022. What what does that mean, Stephanie? Well, 
In addition, uh, and this is why she was on CNN, yesterday, Wednesday, she uh, met with the House Select Committee investigating what happened on January 6th. And on January 6th, she was uh, uh, the Ho's chief of staff, but she resigned from that position that day, effective immediately that day, she claimed as a result of the insurrection. She was one of the first Trump officials to do so. Uh, and, and then a couple more, the uh, ridiculous Secretary of Education, that asshole, and then uh, Mitch McConnell's wife, Secretary of, of Labor, the, Elaine Chow, that asshole. But Grisham told CNN today that she spent about an hour with the select committee yesterday. And she said, quote, I answered every question they asked of me and I will continue to cooperate with them, end quote. And she confirmed the obvious that the committee is interested in what was happening inside the White House as this uh, mob of filthy, pig-loving uh, Donald Trump supporters were uh, attacking the U.S. Capitol. She said this, quote, planning things that were happening outside conversations that were had broadly. She's talking about what she, the question she answered. Those were some of the things we talked about. And she added that um, the committee also saw, quote, any details I had with timelines and conversations that were happening and intentions beforehand and during, you know, what was going on, end quote. Well, Grisham added on CNN that she didn't know who specifically spoke with Trump on January 6th to try to get him to stop the violence. She said, however, Melania did try or did not try to plead with her husband. She said, Grisham said, quote, this is what she said on CNN, quote, all I know about that day is he was in the dining room gleefully watching on his television as he often did. Look at the people fighting for me. He said, and he kept hitting rewind and watching it again and again. And that's what I know. End quote. End quote. Stephanie Grisham. Look at the people fighting for me. Why isn't this son of a bitch arrested, jailed, tried for treason, and if found guilty, put up against a fucking wall and shot? I mean, isn't that, isn't that the standard procedure for somebody who tries to overthrow the government of the United States? And if not put up against a wall and shot, then hanged by the neck until he was dead. After he has the full protection of the United States Constitution, of course. The very constitution that he and his scum-sucking fascist Christians are trying to burn. But give him the protection of the constitution. Put him on trial. Wouldn't you love to be on that jury? And if he's found guilty, sentence him. What's the sentence for this kind of treason? Trying to destroy the entire fucking country to take down the lives and present and future of 340 million people. What's the penalty? 30 days in jail? Suspended sentence? How about hanging? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? But we didn't do that after the Civil War. Oh, we were, uh, we were interested in, you know, reconciliation. And the white people in the South were going to start treating the Negroes with a lot of respect all of a sudden. Bullshit. You saw what happened and what went on for the next century. From 1865 to 1965, you saw what happened. And which one of those filthy pigs who led this re rebellion against the United States, which one of them was tried, found guilty, and hanged? No, um, President Lincoln said, well, you know, let's, uh, let's let bygones be bygones. 700,000 Americans had been slaughtered. But let's let bygones be bygones, right? Let's move on. Four score and whatever. 20 years ago, or four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty, dedicated. Blah, 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 blah. 
And then when these scum bastards, these white people, decided to destroy the union, what was the penalty? Nothing. Nothing. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.